I was into photography too. I mean, that was my art. I did art. I didn't art. even know that was a position. Yeah, <laughs> they're photographers' mates. Wow, that's all they do. They take pictures. Great. That's a weird MOS. Yeah, <laughs> but when I went to the recruiting station, they were like, "Hey, you're small submarines." <laughs> This video is brought to you by Adam and Eve. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests are two members of a local hard rock and uh, metal band that, that was founded in 2022, so fairly new. But I met them at Taverna Costera, up on the rooftop. I forget what show it was that we were, we were both in the audience, basically. Their motto is more rock, more metal, more debauchery. Their single, actually, their EP, Tales of Temptation, is out now. Please welcome to the channel, Brittany and Dee from Throckmore. Say hi, guys. What's up, guys? Hey. Well, first of all, <laughs> welcome to the channel. Cheers to that. Clink. Cheers. Clunk. And Room 6 Whiskey. If any whiskey manufacturers want to sponsor the channel, hey, I'll drink your <laughs> crap all day long. So if you want to be like these two and be on the channel, whether... Reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or click the Room 6 social media link down below, and that will show you where I'm at online, ways you can support the channel, and what else I'm up to, and what the heck, there's a like, the share, and the subscribe button, all those YouTube things. Thanks. Now then, before anything else, you brought me prezzies. They brought me goodies. They brought me their EP, Tales of Temptation. Five songs, one of which we're going to hear them perform up in Room 6, uh, Part of Me. Which is the fourth one on the EP. Uh, this is kind of a stripped down um, acoustic version. So if you want to hear the whole kit and caboodle, buy the EP. There will be a link down in the description to where you can buy that, along with all their social media links. They also brought me a couple picks because every guitarist has to have, you know, picks. Uh, I'll put a picture on on screen. It's uh, I like it. Kind of a demented Joker skeleton skull thing. Yep. Nice. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to describe that. And I mean, what else? But ta-da, a pick, a, a t-shirt with the demented. Jewelry. Yes. So that that guy right there, actually, yeah, that guy with that name, are, are on the pick. And this is our new design. And this rock out with your throck out. You gotta love it. So awesome. Um, cool. Whoopsie. And that will go on my wall of framed t-shirts from bands that have been on the show. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yes. As soon as I buy more frames, <laughs> I'll bring you one. They're not cheap. Uh, so, with that, I'm, I'm going to put this up here. Ta-da! Hey, you work for me, asshole. All right. Stop it. There we go. Shame. 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 Okay, shame. 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 Bong. Shame. <laughs> um, so, from there. Were there other name ideas besides Throckmore? Not really. Okay. Really? <laughs> oh, well. You and I were at two different meetings. <laughs> Possible. Um, what other... Name? Actually, we didn't couldn't decide on a name for the longest time. Right. I had thrown out some suggestions. <clears throat> everybody had thrown out some suggestions. And then randomly, one person decided to say, what about Throckmore? I was like, eh. Because your last name. It is. My last name is Throckmorton. Mm -hmm. But they threw out Throckmore, and I was just like, eh, that's okay. And then they all loved it. Well, that's because if you break it down, Throckmore, it's they rock more. It that's does have guys. rock and more in it, but also, it's unique. It stands out, and then you find out your last name, you're like, oh, well, there you go. She's just full of herself. And then we call <laughs> I didn't choose it, but I like it. Yeah, and then we call all our, we don't even want to call them fans. I hate calling them fans, because we're their fans, honestly. You mean the Throckers? The Throcker Nation. The Throcker Nation? <laughs> yes. Um, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right on. Um, so, before anything else, congratulations. Can I say it? Go ahead. She praggers. Not the dad. Not the dad. There's no alcohol yes, in this. Yes, I, I, I did want to, that's why I brought he it up. I tried to spike it. Though. I did want to bring it up. That's not whiskey. <laughs> that is nectar. Uh, nectar of the gods. Mango or peach? Oh, no, that's nectar Mango. of the gods. Mango nectar. So... Don't drink if you're pregnant, and don't drink if you're underage, and don't drink and drive. 
A dog, shut up. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, she actually listens. That never happens. <laughs> so, I have a, a, a couple of usual questions that I ask of all my prey. And you OG Room Sixers know what's coming. So I'm going to start with this one. This is my earliest musical influence question. And by that, what I mean is, what is that moment you remember going, I want to do that? I'll let you After go for, you. Uh, for me. Okay, great, thanks. Gentlemen first. I'll step out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad was a drummer back in the 50s. He was with a band called the Max Robbins Combo. So as a young child of three, which most of you are still learning to walk and poop outside of your pants, my dad gets me my first drum kit. <laughs> And by the time I'm five, he's setting up the drum kit, his drum kit and my drum kit at each other, facing each other. And we're having drum wars in the living room. My mom loved us. Yeah. That's an understanding woman right there. Yeah. Well, luckily she can sing. Um, ah. But we would do that. And then, again, I'm not the drummer for the band by any means. Um, by the time I was seven, he comes home with a guitar and he goes, okay, here, have this. <laughs> And I never look back. So really, my dad was my main influence in the music. Right on. Uh, as far as guitar players, the usual. I mean, come on, Yngwie Malmsteen's. But, the, uh, but there wasn't like one moment where you're like, I want to do that, or I can do that. or No, yeah, I just grew up with it. You didn't have a choice. <laughs> well, I had a choice, but, you know, with a dad who's a musician, my mom can sing. It, it just kind of, that was what I was going to do. Right on. For the most part. There you go. So... Next! I feel like I shouldn't even say my story because mine is very similar to his. No, no, please. <laughs> well, her family is very talented. My whole family is very musical as well. My mom was in a trio, much like the Supremes way back when, when she toured most of Asia because her manager was blackballed in the States. Noise. <laughs> Name drop. <laughs> and my dad is a multi instrumentalist, great vocalist. Just, he's always, he's always been in bands and everything, and I've always been around music, and it's always been my dream. As for that moment of glory. Yes. I don't think I had one. Right. I just mm -hmm. always knew that's what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted to perform, I wanted to sing, there's, there's nothing like it. When you're on stage performing in front of people, it's, it's just so fulfilling that there's nothing, not much better in there. I have to say, in over five years of doing this, no band has ever come on, but nobody has been like, oh, there was this one time. You, At you band both, camp. They, <laughs> yeah, they both just sort of like, ah, just grew up around it. <laughs> there you go. So, it, but environment matters. It, it does, you know, it does matter. Uh, and supportive parents and family yep. makes a huge difference. Um, well, I didn't say that. Yeah, well. My dad said, no, don't pursue music. <laughs> you don't really ever make it, which, I mean. I mean granted, it. <laughs> I have I have a nine to five. I yep. pay my bills. Yes, you new musicians, don't don't be afraid to get the job because buying gear is a lot easier with money. Yes, <laughs> recording albums is a lot easier with yeah. lots of money. <laughs> Ramen only goes so far. <laughs> All right, so from there, any new Throcker Nation news that they need to know about? Uh, well, the song we're going to be doing a little bit later, acoustic again. They're completely unrehearsed. Um, is also, we are currently working on the video for that. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying this is a Room 6 exclusive? Room 6 exclusive. Woo! We are in the middle of production of the Part of Me um, official video release. So we've already but, shot a few scenes. We've got a few more to go. Cool. Uh, it should be really, really good. Uh, and we're going to do a little bit of... Uh, uh, homage to the desert here in Vegas and to our home here in Vegas. So I think you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll enjoy it. Giggity. <laughs> nice. So I talked, we briefly talked about, well, not that one. We briefly talked about <laughs> this artwork. Talk to me about the logo. Who, who designed it? Who, was it you? Let, let me reach in front of you. Oh, snap. <laughs> now, which came first, the tat or the shirt? Uh, the tat came first. I That's see. actually my guitar and... Uh, we call, he actually has a name. He is a member of the Oops. band. He is our sixth member. His name is Throcky Morton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he actually I, you didn't a, give me a chance to guess because I would have said that. <laughs> yeah, he actually has a backstory on our website, which will be in the right below. I'm, I'm actually glad you took the guitar out of, of this for the, the logo yeah. because 
Th this, for some reason, has more impact. Yeah. And also the guitar is kind of a bit on the nose. But yeah, this is this is almost a, a, a uh, like calling out the insane, the ICP, the insane cloud posse. Be like, <laughs> you know, let's go. A little homage, you know. That'd be an interesting bill, you guys, with them. <laughs> let's do it. So... The Give reason I the reason I ask about that is um, we're, we're talking about you know art and, and stuff. Brittany, yes. Why is Michael Chaval your favorite artist? How, is that listed on our website? Don't worry about it. <laughs> if if uh, you post it, I I'm afraid of where he's getting his Wikipedia from. <laughs> Wikipedia. True well, that's false. not hard to find because I rarely post, so it was easy. Sean to Evans find. from Hot Ones is my uh, patronus, so yes. <laughs> no, but Michael Chaval is uh, he does. How shall we say? Interesting art. He does very interesting art, and that's what I love about him. Yep. It's, look him up. If you don't know who he is, look him up. He does abstract art based on reality. One of my favorite paintings of his is called Imagine, and I grew up on the Beatles, so this is why I like this piece of art even better mm -hmm. than others, is because it's got the New York Imagine Square with Lennon's playing an instrument of sorts. <laughs> Don't want to give it away. You should look it up. No, I, because I know like so he, many illusions. It was your you and your sister. No, wasn't no. I'm sorry, you and your wife. Yes. Sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, um, did he make that for you, or or was that like a oh we like that one? As far as Imagine, no, he didn't make that for us. But we did actually get to meet him, and he custom signed and custom and put our I initials into a piece of art that we own. That's the one I'm talking about. Yes. That's where I got the information. Yes. Because yes. I was like, that's pretty freaking cool, actually. Yeah. Right it on. Is. It's a one of a kind. Shout out to Michael Cheval. Um, did I say it right? Cheval? Mm hmm. Or Shovel? All right. Shovel. Cheval. That's a different band. Right. <laughs> yeah, great band. <laughs> Then um, over here to D, a director of IT? Hmm? Director of IT? Yes. Right on. Well, I, I work in IT tech myself. Oh, okay. But um, are you still the director of IT for... Yep. Can we say who it is? Yeah, take a break, travel. Right on. Travel. Yeah, travel. I didn't company. even know that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yep. And uh, I, I, I'm always... In, it's always interesting how many musicians I meet that are in are IT. In IT. There's, like, I need... of, there's kind of thing going on with IT and music. I need that release. <laughs> well, maybe it's because we only count ones and zeros. <laughs> nice. For... But, um... Good on you. Yeah. Um, that was good. <laughs> mm. Unlike drummers who can only count to four. Yeah. Sometimes. So, Nothing wrong. So, um... <laughs> the reason I ask, though, is, is because I've met so many that are either were in a band or... You know they're in a, some, they're doing something musically, and then yeah. and then there's me. You know I, I bring them to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I I just thought that was interesting, and um, I was wondering again which came first. The you know did you was you said the music's always been there though. Music's always been there. Uh, it actually started for me back in high school, and we won't say how far back that is. Twenty years. No, yeah, it was, sure. it was longer okay. than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, started back in high school, like 11, and I know today they got him in like kindergarten, but mine was like 10th grade, 11th grade. When my kid was in second grade, my kid's 16 now, when my kid was in second grade, working on a tablet, and I said, what are you working on, honey? She said, probability. I'm like, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the stuff they're doing today, but yeah, yeah, I started off and I ended up in, I don't know, they just kind of spoke to me, computers, I could relate to them, I guess. <laughs> So I started off as a, uh, in an IT, MIS back then. We were called MIS That's right. technicians. Uh, it was, uh, what was the M for? I don't even remember. It wasn't Microsoft. Microsoft. No, it was long before Microsoft didn't exist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you see, kids. You're not old at all. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I, I remember being in elementary school learning on an Apple IIc. <laughs> Uh, no, we didn't even have Apple IIc. We had Trash 80. Sorry, this is a bit of a tangent. So, my mom recently passed away a couple months ago. Sorry, and, and sorry to hear that. Eh, it wasn't a surprise. It was just earlier than we thought. But um, I'm, I'm cleaning out stuff. and I'm, In fact, I'm going there tomorrow to uh, hopefully get rid of some stuff. And I, I reach into the top of a closet. And I pull down a cassette tape, 16K RAM, <laughs> of a game. I forget the uh, of like a 
Joker's Wild Casino or so, Casino with a K. Okay. And I was like, I have never seen this in my life. And I lived in this house like for said, over Dave. 10 years. Yep. We never had this technology to play this. Where did this take come from? But I wanted to th throw that back for you. Uh, you see, kids, before... <laughs> <laughs> You may, have, you may have heard of these things called CD-ROMs. Before that were floppy disks. And then before that were tape machine drives. Cassettes. Yeah. Actually, it was a tape cassette. Yeah. It was the original external solid state kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you put in a... <coughs> oh, God play. forbid you pull it out and it's, it's unspooled oh, and you're like, man. get the pencil! <laughs> you see, kids. <laughs> All right, I've done enough of making us look old and... Alienating the youngins. I was gonna say I started IT when I was seventeen. Oh, right on. So, and then went in the Navy, uh, became a nuclear missile technician on the submarines. It always amazes me how I joined the Navy and suddenly nuclear, because that's what they use. It isn't like you pursued it necessarily. It was more like this is the job. No, I wanted to either be a photographer's mate or a computer technician in the Navy. Photographer's but, mate. Yeah, I, I like I photography. Say. I was into photography, too. I mean, that was my art. I did art. I didn't even know that was a position. Yeah, they <laughs> photographer's mates. Wow. That's all they do. They take pictures. Great. That's a weird MOS. Yeah. <laughs> but when I went to the recruiting station, they were like, hey, you're small. Submarines. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That'd be cool, man. I'm not claustrophobic at all. I no. love the smell of recycled farts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Interview's going great. Um, and with, th with that, I'm oh, ready. to the fart jokes. Whoa. <laughs> Apparently, uh, this is going to be Boys. a good one. I'm already almost out. So uh, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna take a quick little booze break and hear a message from future Josh. So booze break. <laughs> booze break. And now a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what time it is? It's time to get sexy. That's right, everyone. Whether you're flying solo or have multiple co-pilots, it's nice to spice things up once in a while. Want to know what pops my cork? Saving money while I'm getting saucy by shopping at Adam and Eve. Cringe. Adam and Eve is the nation's largest marketer of adult products with millions of satisfied customers in the United States and all over the world. Founded in 1971, Adam and Eve is also one of the oldest names in the rapidly evolving adult industry. They can accommodate any and all your special needs. Just for watching this video, and not one of those other videos, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get a whopping 35% off your entire order. Just enter promo code STIMULUS at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel and your love life. Thanks to Adam and Eve for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the not-quite-so-spicy video. We're back! And if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider go clicking that link down below. You'll save some money. I'll make some money. Win-win, baby. Also, if um, you're a sponsor, want, you know, want me to talk about you, hit me up down below in the description. Now then, how long... Now, you guys have been Throckmore since last year, or since two years ago, 2022. And did it start with just you? Like, how many, how many people in the current lineup were in the original lineup? Us, baby. Right on. <laughs> I've, I've had that band. Um, so with that, then, you're the perfect two to ask this question because you have all the Throckmore uh, shows under your belt. Yeah. Yep. What is your your favorite, most memorable show show memory from performing as, as Throckmore? And it could be one where you checked off all the rock star wish lists or you, things went way off the rails. Somebody went to jail. Whatever. You know. <laughs> I've got, like, for me, it's a toss-up between opening a show at, at House of Blues and having some kid, when we were done, ask for my pick, only to find out that he did that for every single <laughs> guitarist. And I was like, he's just hedging his bets. He never knows he's going to be famous. Or playing a biker, biker bar, uh, doing a four-hour cover show, at New Year's Eve, didn't get a single tip. And some guy with a mop goes racing across the dance floor to the bathrooms. And you're like, oh, it's New Year's Eve. The guy got stabbed. Survived, oh. but... It wasn't quite that bad. Yeah, well, that was Mr. Oh. That was Mr. D's. Hey. It was close. <laughs> Shout I out. think my story's going to be vastly so, different. So that's what I'm saying. Is like, I, I, probably. I, probably. I, you, we've all probably had the, the range. So 
Hit him with it. Give us that 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 party well, you memory. Go first again. No, 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 no. Uh, ladies first, please. Well, no. Well, I want to go after a stab no, story. I don't go after that. <laughs> no, please. Fine. Mine is actually. It's nothing like that, and it's actually going to be one of our more recent shows, actually, with our current lineup, okay. and it's solely because of our original music. One of the best moments for me is we've debuted a few songs recently, and one of our songs called Shame, check it out, we get audience participation in that, and... Yes. We are big on audience participation. <laughs> it, one, it was one of the best moments for me when even after we were done singing this song, they were still chanting it. Oh, and, that's the dream. And it was the first time they had ever heard it. That, that's where you wish you were recording the show, right? Yes. I, I know. And so it just, it just made me feel so awesome because that, that was our song about. and they loved it. <laughs> it, uh, it uh, that's awesome. Yeah. I know exactly All right, give us a horror story you're, now. <laughs> I know exactly what show you're talking about, and that would be my second favorite, because my Ooh. first favorite okay. actually goes back a little bit Uh oh. Um, to the bearded lady over in Pahrump. I've heard uh, of this place. I will say that was the second thought I had in my mind. And this one is where actually my mother and my aunt and my uncle, my mother who is 81 now, by the way, was there and this is a dive bar biker dive bar that's what i've heard of her in Peru. over the hump over the hump into Pahrump. Pahrump. and we got to play and i'm i love audience participation i love getting out in the audience i play wireless she gets out in the audience she's got a wireless mic and everybody else likes to stand still i can't stand it i, I can't i jumped up on the bar so i'm up on the bar I've got the owner of the bar, who is female, on one side. I've got one of the bartenders on the other side of me. And I'm playing. And my mother, 80 years old, is videotaping the whole thing. Nice. <laughs> so that... Making you proud, Ma. <laughs> making my mama proud. Mm. Um, that's what happens when you raise musicians. <laughs> that, that was one of my favorites. And I think that's also the night that we debuted uh, part of me. And like it this way. And like it this way. It was. There you go. And the greatest thing besides being up on stage for me as a musician, the greatest thing about being up on stage and entertaining people and seeing them having fun, it there's an adrenaline rush. Yeah. But there's an even bigger one when you're playing your own song and you look down and you watch people singing along with you. Mm -hmm. Yep. I have not had that experience. <laughs> that is the biggest rush of them all. I, 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 that is one of those dream moments that I've always wanted. That and going out onto an actual huge festival stage and having the crowd go nuts just because you're there. Not even like, not even knowing who you are. It's yeah. just, there's a crowd. And when there's a crowd, woo, happens a lot more. Yeah, We're working on that. Yeah, we didn't mention the other parts of that story where somebody may have drank too much and fell backwards yeah. and landed on his head and anything like that. Yeah. But we'll it wasn't quite that. a stabbing, but... <laughs> Was... Guy got stabbed. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, no, I thought there was a lady that fell. That, that same, That's happened too. Well, that they, same they place. Have, they have a pole uh -huh. with handlebars. Handlebars <laughs> and the biker seat. Oh, no. So people like to climb that, and, and not everybody is. Should be, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> capable. So. That, that. Stay in school, kids. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So Don't drink and drive and <clears throat> drive a bike post. <laughs> what? I moving on, <laughs> sir, Mr. Stiff. Yes. Can we talk about Lake Brantley prom tickets? Lake Brantley prom tickets. Where did you get that? <laughs> this is scary. I have been called the next Nardwar. Better fashion sense, less annoying. Yeah, you heard me. In any moment? <laughs> I'm trying to think. I didn't even go to prom. It wasn't prom. Prom tickets. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I did buy tickets. Yeah. But I didn't go. Yeah. So what happened? Because my girlfriend that was supposed to go decided not to. <laughs> and you wrote a song about it. Yeah. Hey. That's what we do. <laughs> do tell. No. <laughs> So from from so from that, 
What tale of woe? Sorry to like bring you down. <laughs> uh, so from that tale of woe, um, you went to a horror movie wedding. I was in. Sorry, a horror that's what movie I meant. Yes, yes. You, you participated yes, in a horror I movie. I forgot wedding? about that. Yeah, it was actually it was a, it was a zombie mm. wedding. Yes. Yes. The makeup was on point. Yeah. But I. The, the, what was that like? What was that like? What? I mean, I'm trying to like. Number one, hot. Number two, <laughs> was there like how like corpses? Okay. How full on horror like zombies did we go? Was it? It was. Did, did, was there a dance? Was this? <laughs> so actually, it was. I didn't even know the people getting married. It was oh, that nice. That much so that they wanted they hired people because I did. This was back when I lived in California, and I did a lot of background work and worked on movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was in the acting scene and all of that jazz, and they hired us to come as a zombies. And so, yes, while there, she's walking down the aisle, we were zombies. Mind you, our makeup is all done. We have peeling skin. That was my next question. Ripped was, clothing, were blood the bride, all were the, over Were the bride us. and groom zombied out too? No. They, they were could, the only normal ones. I was going to say, in, that's in the, the way you do party. it. That's yeah. the way you do it. That's awesome. Did they have a bat wrapped with barbed wire? I mean, come on. No. They, they uh, had a lot of props, though. That would this cool. probably predated that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hot it was fun. Take it each down. Anyway. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the last of the, the, the scary deep dives, I promise. <laughs> forgot about that right. it was fun oh good because there's some stuff that, yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> stick around we're going to be seeing them perform the acoustic version of part of me um but they haven't rehearsed apparently this version of it so it's okay. exciting it's, it's scary it's new <laughs> but just for you yes like i said make sure you hit those uh, social media links so you can you know find out where they are uh and go see them live and support local music like that and you know buy merch so yeah, because it's the only way we make money. <laughs> Last question. You made it. Yay. We're going to circle back. You OG Room Sixers know what's coming. We're going to circle back to that earliest musical influence question. Okay? This is another question I ask of all my prey. <clears throat> it's interesting because I get different answers every single time somehow. I've been doing this over five years. No one's answered the same way twice. But before that, I lied. One more question that I forgot. I have one or two interview questions that sometimes I'll pull out. We all, we all hate them, and I apologize in advance. It's your, like, that usual interview question, you know? Like, if you were on a press junket, everybody would be asking this kind of thing. How would you define your band's musical style? Go! That's good, because we don't really want to be defined in any certain way. I mean, we, the EP that we created, she's, you know, described it as fun. These are fun songs. Um... The next one that we'll be working on, which will be a full-length album, will be a lot deeper, a lot more uh, musically involved, and okay. a lot deeper. But uh, as far as genre goes, uh, a lot of influence through new metal, really. Um, new metal, uh, but mostly metal, hard rock, modern metal. Debauchery. A lot of debauchery <laughs> on this EP, yes. <laughs> it's called Tales of Temptation. Um, but yeah, I really think that's where we're at. It's just kind of metal influenced and a lot of hard rock. All right. Yeah. There you go. Now then, back to the actual last question. Oh God, here we go. We're going to circle back to the earliest musical influence question. And we're going to talk to little you. Okay. We're going to talk to the you that actually said, all right, I think I can make the, I think I can do this. I think I'm going to make a go of this. What is one thing that you wish you could have gone back and told yourself, Hey, you're going to need to know this, kid, and don't say change your strings. <laughs> uh, one thing I would probably go back and tell my younger self is keep practicing. Practice regularly, practice often, and never give up on the dream. Um, you never know when it's going to happen. That's two things. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I you play like to six talk strings. I, I could have six, but okay, I'll stop it too. I would just say is don't let other people tell you what you can and can't do. There you go. That's a good one. I couldn't say it any better. I, we have actually heard those answers before because they're solid chestnuts of wisdom. You well, know? Fine, let me change it. No, no, no. no. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I've been doing this over five years, you know, eventually. There's only so many letters in the alphabet. Mm -hmm. So... 
Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for coming on the channel. Stick Thank around. Thank you for having us. Word. We're not there yet. No. <laughs> Stick around. We're going to see them perform upstairs in room six, and then we'll catch you in the outro. So uh, temporarily say goodbye, guys. Temporarily see goodbye. You we'll see you upstairs. Hi. We're Throckmore. And we've got a special song for you. This is part of me.
I want to thank Throckmore for coming on the channel. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to know more about them, hit those social media links down in the description. And if you want to be on the channel, hit me up. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there and don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there next to that guy. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. See you guys. Ba -da -ba -ba -da Throck out with your... Rock out with your throck out. <laughs> <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da